I'm standing here at Bonnias, which is up in Caesarea Philippi in uh, the New Testament. And behind me, you see the spring, the caves, uh, the pan faults, etc., that were up there. But this whole site is actually has a lot of extra history, especially if you read the uh, Second Coming period works like uh, First Enoch, etc. This Mount Cremon, which is behind it, is the place where the Watch Rebellion took place, according to that text. So show you some pictures around. Coming up here to the cave of Pan, this used to be where the water came out of and went down into the valley. And unfortunately there was a lot of human sacrifice in here and stuff going on. But this is the area where Jesus was declared to be Ben Elohim, son of the living God and Messiah. So as we walk through here, several things to keep in mind. This was a pagan site. This was a cultic site that went with Greek mythology. And, you know, this was the opposite of where a, a, a rabbi would bring a disciples. But Jesus was making a point. He came here and said, who do men say that I am? And they said, you are the Messiah, uh, son of the living God. And upon this rock that we build my church and then Jesus' response. But it's a spiritually loaded place because there are 23 Samad cult sites on this mountain and this is also where the Watcher Rebellion took place according to First Enoch. So Jesus coming here and being declared to be the Son of God is theologically huge and quite rich.